This is part one of a two-part series on how to draw the eye. So you want to draw an, a picture of an eye. Well, well let's do that. Um, first of all, you need to consider the dimensions or, well, how, how big the eye tends to be, its parts. One of the ways we do that is we consider that the iris is about half the size of the visible eye. So we're going to use that um, as a model to draw this. Um, we're also going to put a reflection of a window, some eyelashes, and um, oh, this little doohickey in the corner. So let's get started. I'm going to be drawing this on, oh, about 80 pound drawing paper. I'm going to use a uh, number two pencil, um, rolled up paper, uh, a blending stick, a blunt blending stick, and uh, a white eraser, and a little bit of uh, a kneaded eraser. Okay. To begin with, I need to get the proportions correct for this eye. As I mentioned before, the iris tends to be about half the width of, of uh, the eye from corner to corner. And I'm going to put the inside of the eye on my left, so I'm going to put this line here. I'm going to tilt it down just a little bit. And this line is going to be light. This is going to be large because I want to learn about how, how an eye is drawn and all the components. I need to draw a circle for the iris. Turns out the iris, the outside of the iris, tends to be quite dark. And iris is, tends to also be above this center line. So right about there. I need to make a circle. Artists will often use um, other objects to help draw the shape. And I do want this to be quite round. So I'm going to draw that in, holding my pencil in the center so that it's good. The bottom part of this can be bolder because the outside of the iris tends to be darker. I need to know how big this is so I'm going to mark the middle of my iris and the width. Now if I measure this, this is going to be about an inch and a half. I normally don't measure it. Uh, I just go by eye. But um, today I will, just so, so you'll know. So from the outside edge, another inch and a half. So these are going to be the corners of my eyes. And then this will be the little extra part since this is the inside. That's the little um, doohickey that's in the corner of your eye. Okay. Now the upper eyelid, I want it to go across the top and to kind of crease over actually overlap the top maybe a little higher right about there come down right about here and end in this far side so um, I'll draw that arc now to do that I'm gonna turn it turn the paper because I my, my hand the motor skills or the way my muscles work in my hand I, I draw better this way I need to be brave I need to draw this um, all at once nice and smooth all the way across the top looking at my destination bringing my pen in and I made it. For the lower eyelid, um, same thing. I'll start from the same place, but I need to end here. In fact, I'm going to bring it in just slightly shallow of this. In fact, I think I'll bring it just below the line, just a little. I want this eyelid to go just below the iris. So I'll bring it down just below the iris and curve up and end right about here. I'll curve it down and Make that little doohickey thing. The rest of the eye eyelid, there tends to be a crease right there. Um, the inside edge tends to be curved up to here, and the bottom eyelid, the inside edge tends to be here. Now I'm just going to draw this in lightly because this line. I hope you can see it. This line needs to just kiss the bottom of the iris, and it kind of fades into this eyelid here. Yeah, that worked. I think I'm ready to begin. Now I may have made this top part or this top line a little too bold. It does need to be erased because this is the top of the eyelid. It doesn't need to be there. So I'm going to erase it with my white eraser and that shadow of a line will, will blend in later. I'm also going to erase this straight line especially out of the white of the eye because it doesn't need to be there. I can kind of see where it's at, but it just doesn't need to be there at all. And on the outside, the white of the eye side, I'm going to race right up to my line. And I'll get rid of my line all the way across. Okay? And 
erase that there. So now I think I'm ready. I can race a race through a line just to get rid of it. I'd rather have it gone on both sides and have little stubs sticking out and looking unnatural. So with that done, let's begin. I need to put in my pupil. And now the pupil of the eye I'll make with another circular object that I found. The pupil has to be centered in the iris. It can't not be. If it does, it uh, just doesn't look right. Unless there's a real dramatic turn, if the eye is turned away, the head is turned away, then it's possible. But typically, if you're looking straight on, even if an eye is looking in a different direction, straight on, the pupil is always in the center. So we'll put the pupil there. Now, how big is a pupil? Well, a pupil is only as big as it needs to be. If it's really bright out, the pupil is going to go small to keep the light out of the eye. And if it's dark out or late in the evening, the pupil is going to be large to let the light in. In this case, it's going to be moderately light um, environment. So let's let's uh, let's begin. The favorite part of drawing tends to be the iris, and in drawing the iris, we're just going to put some lines in. Remember, I mentioned that the outside of the iris uh, tends to be dark, and I'm just going to draw some irregular, irregularly spaced, and irregular uh, uh, distant or length lines from the outside, uh, emphasizing that the outside of the line tends to be dark. And it's hard to get that outside as dark as it needs to be. So I'm going to spend some time there and I'll pull some lines in. Every line that you draw for this iris needs to go toward the center of the pupil. If it's not, it's going to be noticeable, it's going to be irregular, and it, it just won't look good. So I'm trying to make this outside. Right now I'm emphasizing, thinking about this outside edge, trying to make it dark. So I'm going to speed up the video a little bit. To make it go faster, um, that's probably better. You can see what I'm doing. I'm actually going to slow down over here because I think I want to put reflection of a window here. and. Well, the eyes curve, so I'm going to kind of follow the contour of my pupil. And there's my window. I think I'll put it right there. And I put these lines kind of light because well, I don't want the line itself to be there. I want it to be an edge. And you know, an edge isn't defined by a particular color, but rather the, a change between shade, tone, or color. So I'm going to put an edge there. And I'll bring my lines right up to it. And when I do my blending, I'll certainly do that there. Now this top part of the eye tends to be darker because we're under the eyelashes. Again, these lines need to go toward the center. And that's hard to do. Not always easy to think about when we're drawing around at another object that's not lined up with it. So we're going to make this darker underneath. Again, because it's under the eyelashes. We'll do the same thing with a pupil. We'll start and we'll pull lines again straight away, right off this line. Now the inside of the pupil is going to be all black, and we we could have drawn that first, but then we would smear it all over. So we're going to draw that as one of the last things we do in the center of the eye. But this edge, this inside edge, needs to be fairly dark. We can go through this line because the that is where the pupil is. It was going to be dark on the other side. We certainly want to be a little irregular, you know, as the iris comes together. Now I'm going to add some some very narrow lines, very pointed lines. They can go from the um, inside out or the outside in. Okay, they really shouldn't be. Oh, they have to be straight, or they have to be rather toward the center of the eye. That's what we have. So using this rolled up um, blending stick, this blunt rolled up paper, I'll start to do the edge. Now again, I want this outside edge to be dark. I don't want to rub stuff too much away. So I'll be pulling in from this outside edge toward the center. 
in the center of this wheel or this this part here I actually do want it to be lighter so I'm going to do a lot of my rubbing on the outside and try to keep it or confine it to be there Then I'll occasionally pull it in and we are going to soften a lot of these lines by doing this as we go around now we're going to take care to make our strokes and this is darker up here and some of this is going to be covered by eyelash blend in there in fact I'm sure I'm gonna have to go back and add some darker to that outside edge so let's speed things up a little bit as we blend things Okay. Let's see if we can fill in this um, pupil. Now, when I do this, I like to draw in circles, and I make that outside edge of that circle kiss or touch the edge of the iris. This needs to be um, pretty dark, pretty solid. It does tend to smooth out uh, this paper, so it does make a shiny spot. But when you observe it, if your observer looks straight on, that won't be as obvious. I want to make it as round so that outer edge is round. Any lines that might be coming into the iris are from the iris into the pupil. I want that to disappear. I don't want any sign of that, and of those lines. I want it to light to look like it goes into the pupil and just disappears because of, that's what it does. So we'll turn this. I don't want any patches in here either. This needs to be uniformly... Okay, I think we'll keep that for now, and let's work on the eyelids. Now, we've got this turned under eyelid here. We're going to add a little shading to that. There is a crease here. We'll add that. And again, from up here, as we're writing on the eyeball, there's a, a shadow that's darker here. And then the eyelid itself comes in. It tends to be dark on the inside, of course. And the upper edge, and then it gets lighter as it goes out. And then this bottom edge. Now, this bottom eyelid, if you think about it, if you look at other people's eyelids, that bottom of the eyelid itself doesn't have any shade to it. It's actually quite light. The, the reflection of the light is, is on it. And the corner of the eyeball, where it disappears behind the eyelid or into the eye socket, that also is a little shaded. So. We want this to be kind of irregular. This is going to be a round shape, so we will we'll contrast it or contour it to be kind of round. And we are, of course, going to go back and blend this. Now, this part over here, where our, our line was right here, this part we're going to shade also, shade up, and create the contour of our, our eye. But we're also going to plan for this doohickey that's kind of in the corner here. There's a proper name for it, and I might be able to find it. Starts with an M. There's a name for this. It's called a medial canthus. This area here. Let's see what we can do to So there's going to be highlights to this this area of skin that's inside there. And these highlights, we're going to just leave 
as, well, as bumps. As bottom line. Bottom line needs to um, be a lot lighter. So I get my eraser. We'll kind of soften it a bit. There we are. Okay. Now we'll start to blend. We'll start on this side. Again, this is where the eyelashes will come out, so this will be darker. And this turn down uh, eyelid, the underside of the eyelid, is there, darker on the inside than the out. We're gonna, there is no, well, there is a line as the as it, the eyeball disappears behind into the socket, so we can draw there, blend this out a, a bit. We want it to be rounded. This is the shading isn't smooth either. It's kind of modeled, not too bumpy, but just slightly modeled so it looks. Um, like not an even shade. Okay, so far. So good. I need to smooth that out just a little bit more. Use my Okay. And the other side, same. Now this is going to be a fold in skin. We're looking at light reflecting off of something that's smooth. So I'm going to smooth this edge there. And then, so that defines where the eye goes into the socket. And we'll pull that out toward the eyeball. Again, the underside of uh, the eyelid at the top is darker. It blends right into that line. Kind of make it roundish. Bottom edge, shadowed some. Okay. We'll just kind of curve that right around. Again, this is rolls in the tissue. It's just built up there slightly. Okay. Now this lid, this uh, eyelid that we have, lower eyelid, we want to kind of keep that light colored. We'll kind of shape it here. This is going to be where the eyelid and the eye meet. It rolls back underneath the eyeball itself. little shadow in the front. Sometimes you can make this uh, reserve a, a light space right here where it can be where fluid builds up in a reflection, the curve of the reflection. We're going to put that line there, leave this, this line as we shade the bottom. We're going to pull this down. This is going to be the, the bottom of our, of our eyelid. This line needs to almost disappear to the point where I'm actually going to erase it. On the outside of the eye, it doesn't have to be quite as uh, removed, but unless you're using eyeliner, unless your person has eyeliner, that line really isn't seen. It's more of the curve, and it's less shiny. So as long as that line blends away, then we're just fine. Now the eyelashes on the bottom, they tend to be quite faint. Oh, by the way, you do want to brush away any eraser pieces, because if you hit them with your pencil or your blending stick, it'll roll them, and it'll create um, irregularities that you didn't expect. Do a little bit here, just to put like a shadow there. This is what we're going to cover later. But this is where my eyelashes are going to be, lower eyelashes, and I don't want to do. I'll do some blending after I put them in, but not a lot. This will come down, goes up there, rolls over. Okay. There we go, the bottom of the eye. Now the eyelash looks a little bit wide. One of the ways to thin the eyelash skin there is to bring the eye down just a little if we can, or raise up. But we're kind of at a disadvantage. So we'll leave it right there. 
Now I also can put some hints of shadows with my blending stick. Okay. Eyelashes on the bottom of the eye tend to be, well, they tend to go from the outside toward the inside, and they don't, don't go all the way across. And they're quite sparse, really. And they're sometimes irregular. So we're going to draw some lines here. There's two coming from that spot. And not a lot. Some hint at curved eyelashes. Okay, little one. I think that should be good. Okay, and that does look a little harsh, so I'll go back and soften them a little. And by doing that, you could justify it by saying, I've, I've put a, a slight shadow behind them. Yeah, that's it. Sure. There, so they're slightly softened in there. And let's move on. Now, the upper eyelash... The upper eyelash um, starts well well into the eye, and the, and the eyelashes actually go up above, um, but they, they come straight out at you. So how do you draw something that comes straight out at you? Well, it's going to be almost like a little hook shape as it does this. But where the hairs are, since there's so many of them, I'm just going to pre-define those with this little hook shape. And remember when I described the fact that the upper part of the eye is going to be darker? Well, that's because it's it's behind this. So we're going to continue. So we're going to continue with the eyes. We'll bring this down. And I actually want to fill kind of fill this space in so I don't have to worry about it later. Eyelashes tend to go up, but when you get toward the outside, they tend to flatten out a little bit. And of course, they're, they're not perfect. They're a little irregular, almost to the point where they go down. Now we have to go back and add some more. And this is going to be a feminine eye. I'm rolling my pencil as I do this. I don't want these eyelashes to be uniform in their size, in their direction, and length. I want them to be... And I need some curved ones, too, so there's some. Again, the farther down we get, the more curved they tend to be. Now, right here, we're going to do something that's going to justify uh, and make our window believable. And that is, we're going to reflect some of our eyelashes in our eye. So these are reflections of eyelashes as they go across the top of that window. There's some nice curls. All right. So far, so good. Now, the other part of the eyelid is behind this. It's going to be oh, just above the corner of the eye. And the eyelid will go over and end just above the corner of the eye, right about there. And that eyelid needs to be, well, that's where the uh, eyelid goes back and so it needs to be shaded there. I'll add a little more graphite to that to add that shade. Add a little more foundation under here. We can, when we shade this, we can 
kind of hint that this tissue that is up above tends to continue down. We need to blend this so it, but it's only a hint. We're not going to be so obvious. So when we blend it in, there we go. Soften those lines a little. Suggest our eye is round. Okay. And I think we're just about done.